Take a little bit of sugar and sprinkle it on top. Oh, oh God, oh my God. <laughs> that was a huge clump of brown sugar. Testing, testing. Good morning guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are here this morning to make some carrot muffins, so let's get started. Should I take these off? I forgot to have these on. Has it been my 15 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, I am really excited about these carrot muffins. If you saw my Instagram story the other day, I just came up with this recipe two days ago. We finished all the muffins since then. It came out great on the first try. You just have to adjust the quantities a bit here. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna go ahead and shred some carrots. I'm gonna start with these three. We wanna get about three quarters of a cup of carrot. I shredded those carrots. That part is a little annoying. <laughs> But we've got about three quarters of a cup here. You can go anywhere from a half a cup to a cup probably, but to try to get it around the three quarters of a cup. We're just gonna pour it right in here and hope that it all gets in. We're gonna blend these. He doesn't love carrots and he doesn't love the texture of carrots. I don't like it. So he won't eat these muffins if he tastes the actual shredded carrot in the muffin. So I blend my vegetable muffin, my vegetable anything, my fruit anything. Right, he doesn't really like much of anything. You don't need to blend the wet ingredients. I just do it because he's really picky. Can we, what are you doing exactly? I'm making the fun. Okay, so we have all of our wet ingredients here. Guys, these are really healthy. So almost, a, almost, bleh, bleh. hold on. Can I pour You wanna do the butter? Do you want to do maple syrup? Yeah. Five tablespoons, this is a plant-based melt. Can it's I melted. It all? Yep, just be real careful, okay? Make sure it all gets in. Okay, that last little bit wasn't totally melted, but that's okay. We are gonna do applesauce here. This is four ounces, I believe, of applesauce. You wanna pour that in for me? You think you can get the whole thing in? Yeah, you can do that with this one. I'm gonna do one and a half a cup. Oh yeah, I only came out with 11 muffins when I made. I only came up with 11 muffins when I made this recipe the other day, so I have to increase some quantity somewhere. If, I'm thinking I'm gonna add an eighth. Okay, I have to increase some quantity somewhere. I'm thinking I'm gonna add You know what, we need to, we just need to make sure we're gonna squeeze it out. Okay. Squeeze, okay. squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We're gonna, we gotta make sure that all the wet ingredients get into this blender because we actually need to add about an eighth a cup probably of wet ingredients, also an eighth, a, an eighth of a cup of dry ingredients to get another muffin. All right, we got our applesauce. Um, uh, I have a different applesauce. You want applesauce? You can I want applesauce. Go. Let's put a pause so the kids can have a snack as usual. Okay, we're back. Everybody's happy we have snacks. So in here so far, three quarters of a cup of carrots, one uh, four ounce little snack pack of applesauce, butter, five tablespoons. I did a plant-based butter. You can do a regular butter. And then we're going to do, I need to think, gosh. What am I gonna increase the quantities on here? Hmm. We're gonna do half a, half a cup of maple syrup. Can I eat you? What? <laughs> we are also gonna add one egg to this recipe. You can substitute a flax egg. And I think all I'm gonna do to try to get the extra quantity for the muffin is add a bit of water. Sometimes I do that with a really healthy recipe. I just add a little bit of water if I don't have enough wet ingredients. And then I'm gonna add a touch more flour as well, or oats. Oh my goodness, you're so silly. We're going to add an eighth of a cup of water to these muffins. Okay, we're just gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this. Okay, that is all blended. We are gonna go ahead and put all of our dry ingredients in here. You're gonna do this first. We're gonna do some oats here. I know what? Increase the oats actually instead of the flour. So we are going to do one and one eighth cups of oats. 
right, let's try it. Hopefully we get a little bit more batter out of this than I had. It was close. I probably could have done a really small muffin, but I like to overfill my muffins a little bit. We are gonna do one cup of white whole wheat flour. These are gonna be really healthy muffins, guys. You can do white flour. You don't need to do a whole wheat flour. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna do like a heaping cup. Make sure it's all the way up to the top here so we have enough batter. What are you doing? <laughs> do, you want, do you want to pour this? It's your turn. There. I hold my breath every time he pours anything. Okay, good job. You're gonna stir this up. You're both gonna stir it, don't worry. Mommy's gonna help you with the oats. There's water here. Okay, so we have our flour and our oats in here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. We're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And then I think I did a half, half a teaspoon of baking powder. It is your turn. Ready? Whoa, that is some serious stirring there. Okay, pass it off to Mia. Pass it off to Mia. You are done. We are going to do a half a teaspoon of baking soda. You're going to pour that in. Well, can I stir it? You're going to pour it in first. And then one and a half teaspoons. No, he's doing this one. This, this is going in too. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Did you do it? Did you pour that in? I didn't even see it. Yeah, I did. Okay, we're just gonna make a little well in the middle here. We're gonna pour the wet into the dry. If you like chocolate chips, raisins, anything else you wanna put in. Do you wanna add raisins, actually? Um, no. Do you wanna add chocolate chips? Yes. Do you want chocolate chips in yours? Yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll do half chocolate chips and half no chocolate chips. Add about a half a cup. So maybe a quarter cup of raisins, quarter cup of chocolate chips. You can get somewhere between a half a cup and three quarters of a cup of, of additional stuff in here. They don't want me to talk this morning. So this is, what's up? What's up? Um, 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 can I uh, do this? Can I pour that? Can I pour this? Yeah. Right in the bowl. Okay, and again, you don't want to over mix your batter. So you're just going to mix, mix it until everything is incorporated. Mommy. What? No, you put two in here. No, I didn't. Okay. So like I was saying, if you want to add chocolate or raisins, now you can add them into your batter before you pour them in. We are gonna sprinkle the tops with a little bit of brown sugar. I'm literally just gonna use my finger. I'm gonna start going here as you guys are finishing up. This batter looks really good. Yeah. I'm gonna put start that in. with just a yeah, small amount in. in each one. Mia, yeah, put that in. Put that in me. Which ones are the smallest that I need to fill? Um, this one, this one, this one, and that one, and that one. And... Okay, so we came out with the right amount. We actually have 12 muffins here. They all look pretty full. I'm gonna add a couple of chocolate chips to ours. Do you want some chocolate in yours? Do you wanna sprinkle some chocolate chips in hers? Do like a couple in each. This is not an ideal way of doing this. Add these to your batter. Seven a.m. chocolate chips, nothing better. We'll just do a couple of chocolate. Cause they are so good without chocolate too. They came out, they were amazing. I was really impressed with these. I'm very happy. I'll sprinkle a little bit of, yep. Take a little bit of sugar and sprinkle it on top. Oh, oh God, oh my God. Okay, so you just want to take a little bit, like a little bit. That one. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna like that one, yeah. Oh, I want that one. Yeah, I figured you might. Okay. okay, our muffins are done. We're gonna put these in the oven for about 19, 20 minutes or so. We'll be back. Okay, you guys, our muffins have baked. This is still pretty hot. I'm gonna try to show you without burning myself. They baked for 19 minutes. I'm gonna say between 19 and 21 minutes, everyone's oven's gonna be a little bit different. We had some that were a little bit larger than others, so the smaller ones cooked a little faster. You should try to do a better job than I did and, and make your muffins really even. So I'm gonna take out the smaller ones. I'm gonna leave the bigger muffins in to cook in the pan for a minute longer because these literally just came out of the oven like a minute ago. Okay, they picked their muffins. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm pretty excited about these. They're not totally cool yet. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and eat them. I didn't even put butter on them the other day when I ate mine right out of the oven. 
They, they would taste good with if you cut them, put a little butter on them. Go ahead. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. These are amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna pat myself on the back for this recipe. The texture, perfect. Density, perfect. Sugar on the top. This is the closest thing to a bakery muffin that you're going to get while still being very, very healthy. I can't imagine what a bakery uses in terms of butter and sugar, but this has to be like a tenth of what they use. Mmm. Oh my gosh, I can't get over these. And you're eating them. My picky eater is getting his carrots, which is good because you saw how he reacted to eating a carrot earlier. You guys have to try these. I know the shredding of the carrots isn't super easy, but in terms of just being able to pretty much put everything in one bowl, they're so good, right? Yeah! Oh, okay, winner, winner. I'm so excited about this recipe, you guys. This is gonna be one of my staples going forward. I've struggled with my vegetable muffins for a while, so I will use this as the base and I will just sub other things into this muffin. Let us know if you tried this recipe and how it went for you. Leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Have a good day, guys. Oh.